Okay, so we're working on a new axe handle video, and uh, this is a continuation of basically experimenting with um, different products used on axe handles. Um, the last one that we did, um, kind of in this same vein, was on what kind of chemical oils um, or that type of thing would keep an axe handle hydrated, especially moving from a humid condition to a less uh, humid conditions such as the desert or during the winter. This one is going to be focusing more on the exterior of the handle or the oils that are used on the outside of it. Okay, so before we get completely into exactly which of these products, let me go ahead and point out that what I've done is I just soaked these hickory wood dowels in water for 48 hours and then I coated them in these six different uh, oils. And more or less, the simulation is, will these oils on the outside keep them in? When these um, metal pipe that I've cut, they would just completely ease a fit, loose fit on these dowels. Um, so I'm envisioning that fairly quickly here, we're going to get an idea. I was going to set these guys... Um, I was going to set these guys, actually one of them, the reason I have four, three of each was because I was going to set one of them inside by the air handler, uh, leave one of them just out here outside and put one just like in a flower pot, uh, kind of out in the weather to simulate what would happen if you left one out. Um, but anyways, I think that it's actually, they're actually going to have dried out a little bit faster than I assumed. So let's go ahead and talk. First one right here is a boiled linseed oil. Now boiled linseed oil is a classic old handle material, highly recommend it. It's basically got additives to it that makes it dry. And so you can get a little bit better um, drying to your ax handles. Um, now, second one here on our list is a pure raw linseed oil. Basically linseed oil is a, um, the raw linseed oil is just raw linseed or more or less a flax oil. Um, all right, so the third one is a pine tar, and uh, that is a kind of a classic old um, axe handle treatment. And then I've got uh, tongue oil, and tongue oil is, uh, a lot of you will be familiar with tongue oil. I'm pr actually a pretty big fan of tongue oil. It's kind of a semi-drying oil finish. Um, now. <clears throat> then I've got one of my favorites. We've been selling Ballastol for a lot of years. It did not end up um, working quite as well as I had imagined on the swelling of the axe head, heads in our last video. Check that video out, by the way. Um, but well, let's see how it does on this. It's one of our thinner oils. You can see it's actually a relatively thin, light oil. So we'll be curious to see how it works. It's not going to really have any uh, hardening ability to it but you can see it's actually a good wood finish. Now, our sixth and last one is actually an Axe Wax. This is our brand Axe Wax, and uh, it's pretty much gonna function like any other Axe Wax would, uh, or knife <coughs> axe, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> it's gonna function really uh, the same. It's got a couple of different ingredients in it, um, but one of, Something that we're proud of is after a lot of research, we did find that there were some essential oils that would actually help prevent rust. Now, uh, any oil and any wax is gonna help prevent rust like on your ax head a little bit, um, just because it, it locks the oxygen out and it keeps it from oxidizing and will help rust. But some of these essential oils will actually help inhibit rust. And so they're included in our blend. So check that out, out on our website. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and test. Like I said, I envision that uh, these might make it a week. Some of these might make it a week without loosening up. Basically what I did was um, soaked it, like I said, 48 hours, and then I put the first coat on, waited 24 hours, put a second coat, it, coat on, then waited 12 hours and applied a, a, a third coat of each of these. And then what I did is we're now 24 hours in from that. So we're basically, um, we're in like, what, 48, 60 hours or so from when I took them out of the water. So here we've got our boiled linseed oil, and this is why uh, I'm saying that, is I actually noticed that with the boiled linseed oil, we've actually got one here that is fairly loose. So um, keep in mind that when I applied these, I do like to apply my handle um, coatings 
when the handle is slightly warm. So if you leave it by a wood stove, leave it out in the sun, um, you know, crack your oven and leave it by it, whatever means. I used a heat gun on these and I did not heat them up real hot, but I definitely did get them warm. So that may have helped some of the moisture. So out of the three of these linseed oil, boiled linseed oil, only one of them is loose. Got the raw linseed oil and the raw linseed oil, I will say this, I can still feel a little bit of the oil uh, as compared to the boiled, but not bad. This one right here is just a little bit loose. All right, not loose. And this one is a little loose. So we've got a very loose one and a slightly loose one on the raw linseed oil. Um, something I will also mention on the difference between the raw and the boiled is that the raw is uh, really much more of a pure natural product as compared to the, the, the boiled. So if that is of concern, you know, on an ax handle, you're going to be using it. It's going to be in contact with your hand a whole lot. Um, I don't know, people have been using the boiled for years and years, but I know they always have a discussion about that. All right, so our, our pine tar here, um, one of the pine tars is loose. So, yep, just one of them. So that is definitely, it is also gonna tend, you're gonna feel a little bit of that um, pine tar feel to it, but if I was to buff that off, it would actually not be bad at all and actually give the handle a very nice feel. Now we've got tongue oil, and this tongue oil is slightly loose. All right, second one, very lightly loose. It was really there and then a little loose. So the tongue oil, I'm actually a little surprised by that. All three of them have a tiny bit of movement. So um, now moving on to the ballastol. No movement, no movement, no movement. Let me double check that. Nope. Okay, that is interesting. I kind of, after the last ones of these, I kind of expected that to be. So, I don't know. Now, the ballastol is a um, water absorbing oil, or not a water absorbing, but a um, water soluble oil. And so, I'm wondering if maybe that played a little bit of a role. I, I've used it for years and found good results. And maybe that is why. Maybe it works better in this application of applying it to the outside of the handles and allowing the moisture to stay in the wood since it mixes from an exterior standpoint rather than using it to swell an axe head. Because in our other video that we did, it did not really work all that wonderfully. Again, I do recommend that you check that video out. So this is the Wiseman Axe Wax. Let's go ahead and see. Now, any axe wax that you have is going to... Um, Right at first, you're going to have a little bit of a waxy feel to it. Once again, buff it off. You know, if you take like a, a fairly decent rag, you can just kind of buff it off. And it actually get, will give the handle just a tad of a uh, waxy feel and actually feels real nice. Let's see. Now, I did kind of have a feeling. All right. All three of those are good. So, and that really, in a way, kind of makes sense to me because your wax in there, your beeswax in there is actually going to be more of a build-up finish on there. I did heat this as well, and I always do recommend, some people don't so much, I always recommend heating it up because I want my wax to get into the wood. So I don't heat up the wax, um, but I'll heat up the handle and then I'll rub um, it in there and you'll see it absorb by doing that. And I did this, I applied three coats of the Axe Wax as well um, after heating the, each one of these up. Okay, so it looks like the only two ingredients so far are the ballastol and the axe wax that there are none on. And I, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do, this is uh, September, end of September in Alabama, but we have been having pretty unusually dry weather for this time of the year, which is not, I mean, I say this time of the year, but we get fronts coming through. I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is instead of taking three of these, I'm gonna go ahead and leave them here and uh, just touch base on these over the next few days and um, just see what they do. If, we, if the humidity comes back, I may go ahead and take uh, one each of them in and put it under the um, ear handler. And if not, this may just give us uh, the information that we need. But keep in mind, this is not, the same as an axe handle because these are only swelled with wood. These were not a tight fit to begin with and that's very important to remember. So I expected that all of these over time really should fail. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. All of these should really fail over given enough time in a dry environment, literally because they're just going back to the way that they were to begin with. So it's not, you know, the failure on these is expected, just not necessarily over a certain given time period. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave them here because I'm wondering if there's some, this one like on the boiled linseed oil, the one that loosened up is a very um, kind of rough piece of dowel. So let's go ahead and keep these and see if the different kinds of dowel play any, any bit of a role in this. I'm gonna go ahead and close out, um, be looking for the following videos on these um, to give an idea of uh, what the final outcome is. But right now, I'm gonna say, no surprise to me, um, the Axe Wax, if you're living in a humid, dry area, uh, or in a humid, arid area, what am I saying? In a arid, dry area, I like the idea of the Axe Wax. So, um, check out our website, check out our other videos. We're gonna be doing other, I've got several different videos like this lined up to do in the future. I think y'all will find very interesting. God bless each one of you and we'll see you on the next video.